going on 30 years of being uh, an artist doing it professionally. Yeah, I wasn't artistic at all growing up. My big dream was to be world's champion cowboy. And I thought I was gonna reach that. Junior year in high school, I won at the state level and then made it to the national finals. Six months later, just at the start of my senior year in the rodeo season was my injury. I was injured working on my own pickup and uh, got clear under the truck and parking brake failed and it rolled down that driveway with me underneath. So after spending eight months in the hospital, they said, well, what are your expectations now? Um, I want to basically try and put my life back together in a way and, and go on and live it. And their answer to me was, well, your reality is you should go back home and find a rest home to check into. And if you get that good a care, you'll live three to five years. I decided that uh, that wasn't going to be my philosophy in life. I was going to have to carve my own path to do it. I think becoming uh, an artist and creating sculpture like he did, well, I, I don't think it has. I know it has saved my life. And the base symbolism in all of my art, every piece I've ever done has a throwaway or a broken piece in it. Whether it's a gear, a chain, whatever it 